Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Uh, today we're getting into a, well, a little bit different project we've never done before. We're going to be doing some woodworking. And we're starting off simple. We're going to be building a couple shelves for the baby's room. Um, what I did, I went up to Lowe's. I bought some uh, bracketry, just standard shelf brackets. And if you haven't seen it yet, there's either a video coming out or you just missed it. Hun's building a duck house out of pallet wood. Well, we have some leftover pallet wood or some extra pallet wood. I'm going to try to make the shelf out of this. How's it going to go? I have no clue, but we're going to find out. So the first thing I did was I picked out three decent boards that are wide enough so that I have a little bit extra with the bracket on there. I got about an inch and a half extra. I did that intentionally. I have ideas for how to mount these, but the first thing I want to do is pick out the better parts and like the, see here, yeah. Like, see this one has a big chunk missing from it. Well, I don't want the big chunk in there, so we're gonna go ahead and trim these to length and pick out some of the bad parts. All right, I got a, uh, what's this? Doolin Tech, Doolin Tools. Uh, picked this up because I needed to sharpen my uh, planer knives. And well, since we're gonna be using them today, ooh, that looks nice. Beautiful. I love it. It's pretty smooth now. Let's go to 120 grit. better than they used to. I guess the true test will be to see if they cut like they're supposed to. Now I did that so that I can set this up so that I can skin off some of this board and get a straight edge on it before I cut it on the uh, miter saw. Because if it's all crooked and whatnot, my corners aren't going to be square.
board has a heck of a bowl in it. Yeah. We'll revisit that in a bit. pieces about the same size unfortunately with the table saw broken I didn't have a way to do it so I didn't film how I actually cut these pieces because it was kind of questionable but then I cross drilled them about where I needed them now I got four identical thickness pieces Square enough. I decided to use the drill bit or the uh, drill press so that I could uh, recess the screws to a certain point and then I wouldn't have to worry about the um, worry about the depth or over countersinking them. Now I need to go ahead and mark the rest and do that. All right, I spent a little time with the sander. I didn't sand everything off. I wanted to keep uh, some of the character in the wood. So yesterday after the battery died, I went ahead and attached one of the boards and unfortunately the screws are too long. You can't really see it, but it's barely sticking through this board and this is the thinner of the two board, three boards I have. Uh, what I am going to do now, I just got back from the store. I got some uh, one inch uh, wood screws. These were one and a quarters, I think or one and five eighths, something like that.
Oh, that's nifty. Anyhow. So, this is the wood screw I used. This is the wood screw I'm going to use. A little bit different. Shouldn't poke through the wood anymore. That's if you can see it here. There we go. <laughs> so, let me see how this goes. And then we will progress from there. Oh, another side note. I used the router and just rounded off these corners on the front and the back. I'm going to do the sides once I get it all together and once I've planed the top. Uh, I've routed these over because when I put my supports underneath, I'm not going to be able to route to the edge.
So Hun swiped the camera from me for a uh, little bit so she could work on her project. And I went out and picked up some Howard's cutting board oil. The reason I'm using the cutting board oil is because this shelf is going in the baby's room and I don't want to add any kind of chemicals in there. Um, I already put one coat on. Probably only going to do one coat so you can see what it used to look like versus what it does look like. Uh, needs a little bit longer to soak in before I flip it and do the rest. Oh, and because Hunt had the camera, I sanded it all down. I only went to 80 grit. I wasn't really worried about doing an ultra fine sand. This isn't this isn't Stumpy Nubs uh, channel, so all my tools combined probably equals half of what his table saw cost. Anyhow, uh, sanded it down with 80 grit, blew it off with the air compressor, just uh, poured the oil on there and wiped it down with a rag. I did wear gloves just because I didn't want oily hands. Um, other than that, let me go ahead and put another coat on this and then we will go ahead and uh, Wait for it to dry, and next shot will be inst installation of the uh, bracket tree. Yeah, hangers, thingies, whatever. I'm going to shut up. <laughs>
Ta-da! We got a shelf in here. Now I need to go ahead and make another one. I probably won't film that because, well, it's going to be the same thing you see here. So, yeah. Like I said, it's redneck perfect. I don't think the baby's going to complain in one bit. But this will be the baby's bookshelf. I'll show you what it'll ultimately look like here. Do, do, do. So there you go. <coughs> A nice, simple bookshelf for the baby. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I did wrong, which I know there was a lot of stuff I did wrong, but I did what I could with what I had available for tools, materials, and trips to Lowe's. There was quite a few of those. Anyhow, hope you liked it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.